sai yake cewa tambaya ta ita ce menene halaccin karanta robotics and ai as a cause of specialization wa muslimi a muslimci tambaya da ya akan akan karanta robotics da kuma ai ai shine artificial intelligence akwai taro da aka gayyace ni da ya zama musamman akan wannan matsaloli kaman wata kasa da biyar da suka wuce a United Arab Emirates wato kasar da mu muka fi sani da Dubai Dubai gari ne ba kasa ba an yi taron a Abu Dhabi ne president na Abu na United Arab Emirates ya gayyace mu kuma an gayyace ni daga Nigeria na je most probably ina zaton kaman ni kadai na samu gayyata daga West Africa idan zan tuna a wannan gayyata da aka yi Uh, ya tara malamai a karkashin UAE fatwa UAE Council for Fatwa an yi taron ranar 7 da, da kuma 8 ga watan November shekara ta 2023 awa 48 aka yi ana taron sai dai akwai kwana biyu na isa ga bannin a fara na ziyarce ziyarce da kuma kwana biyu bayan an gama so hidima ta dauke mu kwana shida ne gaba daya a uh, an kuma bani dama na gabatar da takarda aka ya shafi akan wannan asalin taron an yi shi ne conference akan mustajiddatul ilmiya wato advancement da ake samu ci gaba a duniyar kimiya da fasaha menene mahangar na addini akan wannan ci gaba da ake samu shin menene addini zai karu da shi menene na halal menene na haram kuma wadannan matakai za a saka don ya zama al'umma ta amfana da wannan a wannan taro na san akwai shugaban UAE Council for Fatwa Sheikh Abdullah ibn Bay akwai manyan malamai daga Majlisu Kibarul Ulama na Saudiya akwai manyan malamai daga Fatwa Council na Egypt akwai manyan malamai daga Fatwa Council na Qatar akwai na Jordan akwai manyan malamai daga Fatwa Council na Morocco na Algeria akwai manyan malamai daga Fatwa Council na Libya kusan duk wadannan kasashe da na kira da makamantan su an yi asalin shugaban council for fatwa ko wasu masana kimiya an gayyace su pepa da aka bani ta yi magana na farko akan menene artificial intelligence gaba daya menene smart chips wannan sune asalin abin da nai pepa kusan biyu na gabatar ina ga kaman pepa akwai ta larabci tana nan online maybe a cikin ko an yi sharing din ta ko a website ko kuma a facebook da twitter amma na san an yi sharing so a wannan taro matakin da aka dauka shine an duba menene artificial intelligence artificial intelligence a sauwaje kan na bata muku lokaci shine kaman system ne da ake kirkira ko kuma na ura mai kwakwalwa ake kirkira ko kuma wani na ura na technology ake kirkira da zai huta shadda dan adam yin wani aiki shi ya rika yin aikin kaman dan adam ne yake yi saboda shi mutun sunan sa natural intelligence halitta ce ta Allah to shi na urar da ke kwaikwai mutun ya zama artificial intelligence shi kuma robotics shi ma technology ne shi kuma ba huda shadda mutun bane wuri ne da dan adam ake ga bai dace ya shiga ba saboda ko hatsarin wurin ko rashin tabbas din wurin ko kuma wani aiki ne da ake so ai awa 24 da in an sa mutun zai bukaci bacci ko zai gaji sai a saka robot sai taimakawa dan adam kana iya zama anan sai ka tura robotic system ya tafi ko gona ya yi feshi ko kuma sojoji suna aiki da shi ya tafi filin daga inda ba a so dan adam ya je sai a saka asali robotic system sai a rika controlling daga nan sai a tura shi wani jeji kaman kilomita kaza sai ya kai hari sai ya dawo So yawanci da robotics da artificial intelligence suna da alaka da juna da irin su machine learning su big data analytics dukkanin su kimiya da fasaha ne na abin da ake cewa fourth industrial revolution wa ko kuma a ce industry 4.0 wanda shine most recent advancement a duniyar kimiya da fasaha so dukkan wadannan suna daga ciki a zaman da aka yi akwai bangarori na ci gaban zamanin da malaman suke da fahimtar ma koyan sa ga musulmai ba ma wai halal bane wajibi ne wajibi ne ba ma halal ba na farko a taron daga cikin abin da akai ittifaki shine a cikin qur'ani ayoyin da Allah ta'ala yi mana umurni 
mu yi mu karanci duniya da abun da ke cikin ta mu karanci sammai bakwai da kasai bakwai da halitu dun da ke ciki akalla akwai aya 750 a qur'ani kawai to study the universe studying universe akwai akalla aya 750 a qur'ani da ke magana akan mu yi studying duniya da muke cikin ta sannan bayan ga wannan cewa dole mu ci gaba a kimiya mu yi excelling na farko duniya yanzu haka ta kalla a da an ana maganan kasashen da suka fi taltalin arziki a duniya ana maganan wadanda suke da natural resources ne yanzu kuma kana duba gdp na duniya kasashen da suka fi ba wai kawai natural resources bane technology ne yake kai su ga wannan yanzu kasar da ta fi kowanne gdp a duniya gross domestic product ita ce america akalla gdp su ya kai 25 trillion naira as at 2022 kamar yadda international monetary fund suka fada followed by china da suke da wajen 19.5 trillion USD idan muka duba wadannan kasashe biyu dukkanin su ai abin da yake ba su gudumawa na ci gaba a taltalin arziki shine technology din ba wai man arziki suka fi kowa na mai ko abu da ya kamata haka ba technology ne sannan in ka duba qur'ani Allah ta'ala ba mu kisosi da ya jace mu dauki izina daga ciki akwai ayoyi da dama min babil mithal Allah ta'ala ba mu kissa ta ainihin dhulqarnain cewa wa yas'alunaka an dhulqarnain qul sa'atlu alaykum min dhikra sai Allah ya ce inna makanna lahu fil ardi wa atainahu min kulli shay'in sababa fa'atba sababa suna tambayan ka akan dhulqarnain kaman yadda ya zo cikin suratul kahafi daga aya ta 83 84 sai ya ce zan ba ku labari daga gare shi zan ambata muku wani abu gare shi sai Allah ya ce abin da muka yi wa zulkarni ne inna makanna lahu fil ardi lalle mun mun tabbatar da shi a bayan kasa daga cikin tafsirin malamai da aka yi discussion adamar shine a wancan zamanin zulkarni ne ya dara mutane da yake rayuwa da su akan kimiya da fasaha na lokacin shi yasa ya ce inna makanna lahu fil ardi yanzu duba kasashen da ake cewa super powers a duniya da me suka fi da technology ne fa dukkan wannan korewa ne na technology yasa ake ga su suka fi kowa karfi a duniya su suka fi kowa mai saboda technology kasashen da ba su technology har sharadi ake sa muku na abin da za ku saya sai a ce ba za a sayar muku ba ma ba a yadda da ku ba da kudin ga sai ake sayar maka saboda an san ba za ka iya yi ba kuma Allah ya ce fa at ba sababa da muka ba shi wannan ilimi na sababba din kuma shi zurkar ne ne sai ya bi wannan sababba din so ai idan muka duba asali artificial intelligence amma fara shi ne a third industrial revolution a tarihi in ka bi wanda ya fara kirkiro kalmar artificial intelligence ya hada kalmomi guda biyu a matsayin ilimi sunan sa john mccarthy a 1956 ne malami ne a massachusetts institute of technology a america jami'a ce mit to daga nan ne aka yi wani conference sai ya kirkiro what artificial intelligence ya kwai ne kuma idan ka duba za ka ga tun a lokacin field din ci gaba yake kuma tsoro da ake ji cewa wai zai kwace ayyukan mutane e zai kwace aikin wanda bai san technology ba don artificial intelligence ai dan adam ne yake yi allah ya halicci mutun ko mutun ne yake yin technology din yanzu saudi arabia a shekarar nan kadai sun ware kudi da za su yi invest a artificial intelligence shi kadai dalan amurka biliyan 40 in ka duba budget din nigeria gaba daya a 2024 din around 28 trillion naira ne in ka dauki exchange rate a 1400 naira be kai 40 billion usd ba wannan fa ba wai budget din Saudi Arabia a kiwon lafiya ko ilimi ne ko tsaro ba ko harkan noma a a a kadai artificial intelligence ne wannan kuma bangare daya ne a cikin bangarori da yawa na ma fourth industrial revolution din bangare daya ne amma sun ware kusan investment 40 billion USD za su yi saboda in ka duba statistika market value na artificial intelligence kadai a 2023 ya kai 200 billion USD kuma an yi predicting by 2030 nan gaba shekara shida zai kai 1.8 trillion naira in ka dauki robotics kuma market value a 2022 ya kai 26.5 billion USD 
so da haka al'amura ne da ke kawo wa kasashe da individuals kudi mai yawa a duniya yanzu the most richest mutane a duniya in gado ba za ka ga duka a technology suke ko ka dauki mutumin faransa ko mutanen amerika da suke kan gaba za ka ga duka technology ne irin su mark zuckerberg ba ma nan irin su elon musk da suke gaba gaba su jeffrey bezos su bill gates su mark zuckerberg duka mene ne duka technology ne ba wani abu bane fa duk technology shi ya ba su wannan so da haka sai mu kiyaye kada a bar mu a baya ina aiki tare da gwamnatin tarayya a 2021 mun bude national center for artificial intelligence and robotics anan abuja in kaya shine acronym din ita ce ta farko a afrika me dalili saboda in kuna so ku ci gaba a technology sai kun zama very proactive kuma ga matasa lokaci ya wuce da za a ce wai ka je jami'a komai aka baka ka karanta wanda ya baka wannan wasiya bai san duniya ta tafi ta bar shi bane lokaci ya canja mun wuce lokacin wai a ce ka je komai ka lin ka je jami'a za ka to sai ga kowa ya ce baya san cost din kowa ya gudu baya so to kai kafa kafa da karantawa ga haka ka da ta nadi shekara mai zuwa ka karanta abin da zai amfani shi kawai dan ka je ka shiga muna da wanda mutun zai je karanta abin da ba a da bukatan sai ya zama kaman a museum abubuwan suke a yanzu kuma mutun ya kammala sai ya zo ya ce zai aiki a nan PC ne ko kuma NDIC ko Central Bank ko kaza da kaza kuma shi ya san me ya karanta so in kana so ka yi tsada a duniya ka karanta abu mai muhimmanci da ake bukata na biyu kuma ka ci gaba da adin value wa rayuwarka kullun ka ci gaba da learning every day kada ko yan ilimi musamman abin da ya shafi soft skills da kuma social skills so critical thinking complex problem solving so yanzu akwai tactical thinking ma buying critical thinking akwai tactical thinking so do wadannan suna da muhimmanci Allah ta'ala ya samu wannan lafiya